Hi, I'm Chris Young with Enrizio InfoViz, and today we're going to look at our XR75 Large. And as you see it in front of you, this system's configured for a bulk flow. So we have an in-feed hopper on the front end here, and then it'll dump out and feed out under the existing conveyor. Normally that goes on to a retract uh, reject. Um, and first off, this is a member of our XR75 platform. The nice thing about that is a lot of the button pushes and operations are actually identical. So the software, whether it be on this machine or one of our other machines, it's the same. Second important feature on this is the platform is the same as well. So inside the unit, a lot of the boards from a maintenance level are exactly the same as well. So what we're trying to do today is simulate bulk flow meat, which this system is actually sold to in the States. And the application given to us, the product was a little bit thicker. I think the goal was to look through about five inches of meat. Unfortunately though, we only have about four inches that we can simulate here, maybe three and a half. All right, so the thinner the product, if you could get this down to about two inches or thinner, would be ideal. At about two inches thick, you're gonna have very, very good bone detection and be well under 0.8 millimeter stainless. But at about three to four inches high, we can see on the screen here, we ran it through, and what we have there are four little dots that equates down to 0.8 millimeter stainless steel which is really good. And then on the lower density item, like this synthetic quartz, we're down to four millimeters. So if I was about four inches thick, I would estimate I'd get about 0.8, which we're seeing, and then three to four millimeter bone. This synthetic quartz is actually very low density. Beef and pork bone, you'll do a little bit better. So you'll be about three to four millimeter bone. Okay, very simple, you just put it in. Okay, system will reject. You'll see we actually picked up a little bit better. We got down to three millimeter and we picked up one other piece of metal. The data is all controlled. So you have all the time day stamps for all the rejects. You have the reject image captured. And as well, you could send out the data via ethernet, o ethernet IP or OPC UA. Those are options that you can connect to pull data out as well. Or you could integrate it into our control software, which we call Quicka. On the infeed side here, we have a hopper. And the hopper is equipped with two nice handles and pins so you can lift it straight up. And now I have access to the door. Once I unlock it, it too has a handle inside. Comes right out. Probably guess on the other side, that door is gonna come off as well, but we're gonna lift up this cover first. Get it out of the way. And now I can pull this door off. So now what we see inside are these plates. These plates are used for shielding and you can see there's not a lot of clearance on this particular model, four, four and a half inches. So for a bulk flow, again, you'd probably wanna try and stay closer to that three inch thick if you can. Um, two inch will probably give you your best sensitivity, but three inch is really good as well. Still get very good sensitivity. But these form the shielding and then the product will pass out, pass through, and then there'll be a reject device on the outfeed side. So you'll see as well that we have uh, the sides in here to keep this cupped so the product won't spill out up the sides of the belting. And those are all just basically on pins, so everything lifts right out. Okay, and then I can, everything is tool free as we're seeing, so I can just pivot this up. And now the belt will be able to be pulled right out the front of the machine. Other side. Now there are uh, additional plates on this particular machine. And then I could also additionally pull out the rollers. Those will come right out. And even these end systems, tails, I could remove as well. I have access to the belt scraper, the decking, and the entire inside for cleaning. All right, so we've seen kind of the disassembly. The reassembly would just be in the opposite direction. So just put everything back in in the same order. But it is important to realize a couple points. Uh, one, extremely good detection levels. So you're gonna get that 0.8 millimeter stainless steel. If you keep it below four inches thick, you're gonna get about two to three millimeter bone depending on the consistency of the flow. The more consistent you can make it, the better, the better your bone detection will be. And the other thing to remember is of course the XR75 platform. Very, very good design as far as user interface and maintenance for long-term uh, reduction of costs. 
And on this particular op model, there were a few options. So I just want to point that out. The solid frame is optional. Okay. And as well, this unit was equipped for a certain customer that wanted things like the washdown cover, uh, the stack light cage, if you saw those, they're on the other side here, Dave. Um, those are options on the machine that you can get as well. But uh, again, those are optional. Everything else though is standard. Uh, all the tool-free belt removal, uh, the hopper and so forth, that's all standard. So thanks again for seeing the XR75 large.